Hey guys, it's Alex here to talk a little bit about this library that I wrote in MATLAB, but before we do that, let's start off with a joke. Why did MATLAB place first in the scripting language contest? Because all the other scripting languages placed zero instead. You can blame me for that because I wrote it myself. Anyways, uh, let's jump right into things with the development. So all the versioning is outlined here on my GitHub. Um, but the basic idea is that I started with volume effects, went to frequency effects, and then combined them into a volume and frequency effect. So that was like compression and then uh, like filtering, and then the last thing that I did was a reverb plugin. Um, anyways, I can actually show you how I did all of this stuff uh, by talking about how I wrote the features. Um, so this is a rough script that I would start with. So as you can see, like the variables aren't like meaningfully named. They're just, you know, like one letter. Uh, you know, don't really explain that much what I'm doing. Um, I would test things as I wrote, so there's a few redundancies in here, and have some breakpoints in the middle of the code just to see how things were running. Once I got them running, I would functionize them, so I would turn it into like a function that I could give an argument to. Um, I would make the variables maybe a bit more um, straightforwardly named, so I renamed like this M here to matrix, um, and then again, like I would make it a bit more readable uh, overall, then I would uh, the last thing I would do is like clarify the stuff, organize it maybe a little bit better, um, add some more comments to explain what I'm doing, uh, and add some documentation at the beginning, then release it. Uh, then between releases, I would try and improve the things that I released previously. So this is like a drastic example, but this is the reverb from point four. Um, and so as you can see, like I uh, improved it a lot um, in terms of like the documentation, just that like I added like a total uh, kind of explanation of everything that you put into it. Um, I tested the code a lot, there's a few bugs that I worked out, I made it sound a lot better, and I rewrote the code to be a bit more elegant um, and maybe a bit more logically organized. Um, so one of the challenges that I had was like logically organizing this code because there's a lot of stuff that you're doing here and it's not too, super intuitive. Um, so it was kind of difficult to figure out how to like, you know, set up everything so that it kind of has some sort of like logical process to it. Um, then also trying to explain everything in these comment blocks was difficult because I was learning all this stuff by myself, which was kind of difficult to teach myself. Um, so it made it a bit more difficult trying to make this like an educational thing while also kind of being educated at the same time. Um, so we can jump right into the features here. So this is just a dry uh, drum sample. And here it is with like kind of like a subtle boost from effects. So it sounds a little more full, it sounds maybe a little bit more, uh, you know, loud, even though it's at the same volume. And here's where you can like push it to like be really ugly if you want. So I mean, there's 14 different effects, you can combine them and the full feature list is like here on GitHub. Um, everything also has like complete documentation. So here's documentation for my filter helpful class. Um, so you can see like it kind of explains everything, gives you references, has like a little reference page. But for every function as well, there's documentation that tells you kind of, uh, you know, the argument, tells you what it is, tells you some optional arguments if there's anything, what the output will be, the example usage, and how to like interpret, uh, you know, what the output would be. And so everything is kind of like customizable. So, you know, that's another little added benefit. Um, so why should you care about this? Well, one thing I can tell you is that I built it all from scratch by myself and none of the effects algorithms really rely on any black box MATLAB functions. Um, everything is pretty much just arrays and arithmetic um, and everything is like built from scratch like and explained like why I made everything from scratch um, and all like, the explanations I hope are somewhat thorough and, and can help people learn. Um, and everything is like, within the scope of at least what we covered in our computer engineering course. So it's all again like matrices and arithmetic and, and stuff like that. Um, so what can you learn from this? That's probably the most important question. Well you might learn how to actually write an accessible open source library. So you know where should I put uh, you know comments? What should I explain? Um, you know, how should I write documentation? Uh, you know, this stuff is all standardized, you know, maybe put some arguments, some uh, some name value pairs and some examples and interpretation and dependencies and all those things should maybe be included if you're writing documentation for a library. And then also maybe most importantly is why should I care about everything that I learn in class? I mean, you learn about loops, you learn about arrays, you learn about matrices, you learn about vectors, but I mean, what does all this stuff mean? Well, I mean, one thing it might mean is that you can write some cool audio effects or something. Um, so anyways, this is supposed to be like an educational tool. Uh, you're supposed to be able to read through this and, and learn a little bit about audio effects, learn about what all these data structures that we learn about in class mean, and, um, you know, hopefully uh, take something out of this as well, too. So uh, thank you for watching. If you want to learn more, check out my GitHub and uh, have a great day.